four of this, I guess, and we'll see what I can remember. As long as uh, we don't ever have this like stupid issue again where I can't move up and down in here. But I can, so that's good. So now, all right, so you're here, you open up a file, whatever, right? Let's, I guess, talk about some of the UI elements first. Um, because I don't need to show you all the auto completion and stuff like that that VS Code already has. Uh, that's not the interesting part. So UI elements, right? If you want to toggle the tab bar visibility at the top, you can press capital T. If you want to do U and then A, you'll get rid of the activity bar and then space E will get rid of that. And so now you can bring everything back in really fast when you need it, right? And uh, we'll bring that back in. And then if you want the map too, and you can easily get rid of all that stuff too. So we can get rid of the map. We can get rid of the tab bar. We can get rid of this and we can get rid of that. So now we get more screen real estate for working on things. Um, imagine that you want to format something in VS Code, I mean, we already have format, auto format, save to true, right? So I can just, right now, do like a normal save with Vim. Um, actually, I don't even know if I have auto format set to true, because I feel like that should have done something. But, so I guess I don't, so that's a good time to show this then, which is if I do space L, L will give you like a ton of um, things here, right? So, if say one of them is format. We'll do format. Another one is I have code lens, which is L. And uh, I don't know what code lens really would give me in this case. It looks like it doesn't give me anything. <laughs> Let's do, um, now normally too, like this isn't a thing in uh, in VS Code. Like I don't know how people, I guess there's some sort of shortcut to get to definition and all that kind of stuff. But if you wanted to find all the references for header, you could do GR and you can cycle through them here. You just have to press GR. Uh, if you want to go to definition, so like let's go to definition of, uh, let's open up something from over here. We'll go to the header. So we'll go to definition of the header, we'll do GD, and there you go, right? Um, let's see what else. Splits, so we'll do space V and space H. So H is a horizontal split, V is a vertical split, close that and we'll close this uh, oh yeah and I'll just split again so you can see we can move between the two really fast but control H and control L so I can be over here and then I can jump over here I also have quick scope working so if I press F you can see like all the things we could jump to so you can see I is highlighted right there and so I can just press I and then I'm over top of I um, let's see what else um, if you're searching for things like class, whoops, class, right? And you see how they're all highlighted now? Well, what you can do is you can just do L, or wait, this, and then I think I have it as map to N, yeah, for no highlight, and it'll get rid of all the highlights for you. Um, obviously, you can just search, like normal search, like however you would do in Vim. Um, I don't care about this. Oh yeah, so how about search anyway? So we can search for files. So if I, ju I just press SF, and now here's all of like the files that I have in here. So we can like go to navbar, there you go. Here's one that's not obeying ESLint's rules, right? So strings must use single quotes. So we'll do space LF, and boom, it formats it. I don't know why I didn't format these ones. I don't even know what's complaining about these ones. Uh, class found, use class name. So this might be a good time to do LQ and then look at some of the quick fix things we can do. See, there we go, fix all auto ones. And I don't know if there's one we can get from here, remove unused declaration, but there you go, right? So I just pressed space LQ to do that. Um, and that's way faster, right? Let's see, we have git. So there's a bunch of things you can do here with git. I'm not gonna go through them all, but like if you just wanna move to the next change, you could do this. So you could do space G, J, space G, J, space G, J. And it'll just take you through all of your hunks that you have. 
So you can imagine this is very useful in a giant file where you have changes. I don't know if there's anything under here that's interesting. Show all buffers and editors. Oh yeah, that's all open ones. So B. Yeah, there's not anything too interesting under buffers. Uh, debugging, you got D, you got all your normal debuggings. You can press like B to toggle a breakpoint, whatever else, start debugging, step over, step out, all that kind of stuff. Um, Hmm. Oh yeah, F is for find and replace, so you can find and replace across the project. You can do that, and then we'll say like header, and then we can come over here, and then we'll say with like L, and then like you obviously can find and replace if you wanted to do that. I don't want to do that right now. If you wanted to find and replace inside the file, you could do F, F, and then we'll find like, um, but I, I wouldn't do this to find and replace in Vim, right? Like if I was doing find and replace in Vim, I would do, uh, I would like search for the thing, class, name because you're gonna have to do that anyway do this and then you do CGN right and then change it to whatever you want say we want to put it back to class for whatever reason even though that doesn't work uh, it's see it's gonna put it there anyway oh wait why did that put that there I don't know one second uh, we'll do space L F again to fix all that stuff LQ we'll do that and then this thing L Q and we'll just do fix all auto fixable yeah so now let me search for this again it should be C G N and then I can do class now this thing is like gonna auto try and screw me like react is so I'm gonna have to press escape and then you can press dot and change them all or and if you want to skip one you can just do n so if I do U a couple times and I wanted to skip a few of these, I would just do N and then I would skip over this one maybe and then do dot and dot. That's just a better way to do it. Like I give the ability to do space F and you know find and replace in a file, but I think it's just better with Vim. Um, unless you wanted to do them all at once. If you want to do them like one at a time, that's definitely the way. Q, there's no code actions here. Let's just do that again, just so we can fix everything. Fix all auto fixable problems. And we'll save. Uh, yeah, I guess there's commenting. So let's do like over this. You can comment. I mean, but you can always comment. But I guess this is just another way to do that. I think what's in show? Uh, I have terminal, so you can like, you know, toggle the terminal. I don't know if this fully toggles it. Yep. There you go. So TT will toggle the terminal. We'll bring this and then I think I have control E. Yeah. And it'll immediately put you over here. I think that's just a better mapping. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh. Yeah, I think they do. But anyway, so I'm tired. I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do a video um, showing you basically what I just showed you right there, um, how to do it all, and then also how to kind of set it up. So that's probably it for this video or this stream, I guess. And I'll see you guys in the next stream.